Hello, lovely people. Welcome back to Focus Hive. In this episode, we are talking about complaints and we are starting a series where we will talk a lot about the nuances of complaints and how businesses can make use of complaints and be more successful in their journey. Get ready to shift your perspective as we explore how embracing complaints can fuel your personal and professional growth. In today's fast-paced and competitive business world, success hinges on more than just great products or services. It's about fostering culture where feedback is not just welcomed, but celebrated. Welcome to our discussion on feedback culture, the secret sauce for business growth and innovation. Feedback culture isn't just about giving and receiving feedback. It's about creating an environment where feedback is valued as a catalyst for growth and innovation. Feedback is lifeblood of any organization or an individual. It's how we learn, improve and grow together. So now you'll ask me why feedback culture is so important. Well, feedback culture is so critical because number one, it, it fosters the culture of continuous improvement by regularly seeking feedback and acting upon it. Organizations can identify areas of growth and implement positive change. Secondly, feedback culture enhances employee engagement. When as an employee you feel heard, it gives you a sense of belonging, which is one of the key element of engagement. It makes you feel valued, heard and motivated, which, which basically enables the employees to be the best at what they do. And thirdly, I believe uh, feedback culture promotes innovation by freely exchanging thoughts and ideas. You are providing a platform or, or a culture to your employees to bring in new and diverse thoughts for you to develop upon using which organizations can spark creativity and drive innovation. But how can businesses cultivate a feedback friendly environment? It starts with the leaders. The leaders have to lead by example, by demonstrating a willingness to give and receive feedbacks openly. The leaders lead the path. They can set the tone for the entire organization by receiving the feedback and encouraging others to do the same. Many organizations kind of stop with the first, the leaders lead by example. But what after that? The second point is equally important because the organizations and businesses need to provide training, processes and platform for employees to give and receive feedbacks constructively. And, and in conclusion, feedback culture is the secret sauce for businesses to grow and innovate. And finally, integrating feedback culture in every aspect of the organization, the businesses can truly unlock their full potential. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more businesses insights and to get to know more about why complaint is a gift. Till then, bye.